Hi all, I hope you guys are doing great. Welcome to a typical day in my life working a 9 to 5 as a financial portfolio manager in London. Although I have quite a traditional office job, since the COVID, I work from home a lot more than I used to. But still I go to office a couple of times a week. Let's spend the day together. Good morning, how are you? I hope you guys are doing great. Today is Wednesday, I've got to work today. I've already told you, haven't I? I've got a few work locations. My head office is basically in London. That's where I work most of the time. But even in London, I've got a few work locations. I go there occasionally. And today I'm going to Reading. It's been a long time. I think it's been years since I went to Reading. It's a beautiful town. If I have time, I'll show you around. I've got a client meeting there, so I'm getting ready. I'm going to make a quick breakfast for my kids. Let's get on with it. I've got some overripe banana. I never throw them away. They have a lot of nutrition in them. See, they've got these black dots. It makes a lot more sweeter and also richer in minerals like potassium and magnesium. I'm going to make a banana bread. I'm going to add some dates as well. It'll give sweetness to the bread, natural sweetness. I like these medjool dates. I just love them. I bought them from Turkish grocery store. They are really sweet and plumpy. I use them in milkshakes and smoothies too. Since the banana is nicely ripe, we don't need any sugar with this bread. And the dates give sweetness too. It's a very healthy version of banana bread. This is a very simple bread recipe. It's no measure bread. I want the bread dough with a little bit of moisture in it. I just eyeball the ingredients except for the baking powder. I add yogurt and then puree the banana and dates. I will be adding one cup buckwheat flour and a half cup powdered oats. I want my kids to eat something wholesome in the morning. Instead of using refined flour, both buckwheat and oats have a lot of fiber. It's really healthy for them. And for raising the bread and making it soft, I'll be adding half teaspoon baking powder and a half teaspoon baking soda. See, the dough is not dry. It has moisture in it. That's why I added a bit of extra yogurt. I'm not using any butter in the bread recipe. I'm greasing the tin with coconut oil. It really gives nice flavor and a lovely crust to the bread. I saw this in Instagram, keeping sliced banana at the top. I liked the idea. I'm going to try it today. Cinnamon powder sprinkle. There is something with banana bread and cinnamon powder. It's just match made in heaven. I'll be adding some cashews at the top. Now it goes to the preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. It just needs another couple of minutes. It's going to be an hour and a half drive, but uh, let's see the traffic as well. Usually M25 will have a lot of traffic. Let me see. Yeah, it shows two hours. Let's go. I'll be late. 
but I'm 40 minutes early. But anyway, I'm going to go inside and relax a bit. Let's get in. Just finished my meeting. I'm going to get some lunch now. I'm going to see what lunch options are there. There was just one cafe near work, so I thought I'll come to the riverside and eat somewhere here. This is River Kennet. I'm so happy I didn't eat at the cafe there. <laughs> see, a lot of options to eat here. That too, overlooking the water. Oh my god, it's a fantastic place. I just love it. It's a great place to relax and eat with your colleagues. This riverside is stunning. There's TGI Fridays. I'll have a look. I'll have a look and see. Miller and Carter. There are so many options here. To come for a drink or for eating with colleagues or friends. It's lovely. This place is amazing. There is a bridge there. So I'll cross and go the other side. This is Starbucks. No, I'm not going there. I don't, I'm not a big fan of Starbucks sandwiches. No. The hot chocolate is good though. Maybe coffee is good. I don't drink coffee. Um, the tea is not good either. <laughs> so let me see somewhere else. Reading is such a happening place. It's so beautiful. Slug and lettuce, all bar one. And there is a Nero there. I love their cheese sandwich. Cheese toasty. I'm going to buy a cheese toasty. Do they have any cheese toasties left? Because it's crazy lunchtime right now. Bacon and ham you can easily get with vegetarian cheese toasting stuff to get. <laughs> Hot chocolate. I'm waiting for my Thursday. They'll bring it over. It's very cold out here, but I'm enjoying sitting outside and eating. You know, looking at the riverside. It's really nice here. It's so soothing. I love it. Look at the bread cheese. It's just melting. It is so divine. home now guys i have to pick up my kids and make some snack for them and also dinner because party will be coming home late today as well he texted me that um, he left home a little bit late because susie was a bit cranky today <laughs> so i have to go home now snack is always a toughie if you are a parent you know my struggle <laughs> getting your kids to eat fruits and vegetables every day can be difficult we need to make snack time fun too sometimes they eat fruit salad with custard or some guacamole with cut up vegetables but not every day they rebel it today i'm going to make some crisps i'm going to harvest fresh potatoes from our garden and make crisps for them I tried to give them food as healthy and fresh as possible. I had soaked millet for making dosa batter last night. I was supposed to grind it this morning, but I forgot. I have to do it now. It's been soaking for a really long time. I used two cups of finger millet. We tried to eat one millet a day at least.
For 2 cups of millet, I added half cup of urad dal and 1 teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. It makes that those are really soft and lovely aroma as well. You know fenugreek seeds is really good for your health. It reduces our body heat. It's really good. Super fresh potatoes harvested. Even though it's winter, we still have a few plants in our greenhouse where the temperature is controlled. I have some beetroots, chilies and carrots as well. See how juicy these potatoes are because they are very fresh. I have sliced different varieties of potatoes. See some of them are white and some are yellow in color. I am going to soak it in ice cold water for about 10 minutes. This will make them very crispy when they are baked. I have dried the slices with a towel. Going to add the seasonings now. I love smoked paprika in potato crisps. If you haven't tried it, please do it now. It gives a wonderful smoky flavor to your crisps. Then goes salt and pepper. I'll be adding 1 tablespoon of olive oil. I'm not going to deep fry these potatoes. I'm making healthier version of crisps. Yummy homemade crisp. When it comes out of the oven, it'll be a little soft, but once it cools down, it'll get crispy. I spend my late evenings editing my YouTube videos, replying to the comments and uh, catching up with the emails. Every video takes 3 or 4 days to edit, sometimes even longer. If you really appreciate the content in my channel, please subscribe to support more such positive videos. I would really appreciate that. I have some leftover dosa batter from two days ago. I kept it in my fridge. That makes cooking dinner very easy. This is also finger millet dosa. I'm going to make a peanut chutney for this. This is a very simple recipe. You add some dry fried peanuts, one garlic pod, one red chili, small piece of tamarind and a little bit of salt. That's it. You grind it with water and then temper with mustard seeds and urad dal curry leaves. Peanut chutney is amazing with millet dosa. It makes a perfect combo. This is a good day, yes, I need to start the rebuilding of life. I do have a stressful job. Most of us do, don't we? It's very demanding. Sometimes it just drains me totally. But I try to concentrate on the more important things in life, like my family. Cooking for them releases some of the work-related anxiety. I've taken breathing and meditation in the recent years. It works. It really works. I'm not completely out of stress yet, but I'm trying. A bedtime routine helps to unwind myself, shut my brain from work and have a good night's sleep. I make my berry smoothie with mixed berries, almond milk and dates for sweetness. I 
will be working from home today. It's a bit relaxing. Working from home has its own advantages. When I'm stressed during work, I throw on some music where the VIPs are just me and my dog. It's a bliss. After the pandemic, our work culture has undergone a seismic shift. It forced most of us to adopt remote work almost overnight. I find that it gives me more flexibility to do the things I want. I'm making Sattumavu Kanji for my kids. It's a power packed porridge with whole grain cereals, nuts and cardamom powder. I brought this from my India trip. My mom made this for me. This used to be our regular breakfast before going to school in our childhood. I do get my shopping done during lunchtime. We can run errands, pick up kids from school, all sort of things. One of the things I love is impromptu tea breaks with peace and quiet, sometimes with my husband. Rooibos with mint and lemon is a delightful, refreshing tea that I love. I'm a big fan of herbal tea concoctions. I love hibiscus tea, mango and lychee tea. There are so many variations that you can make. Working from home has its own drawbacks too. It can be difficult to separate work hours from life hours. Many people find working from home even more stressful. For me personally, I prefer going to office at least a couple of times a week. So I can meet people, talk to grown-ups. You know what I mean. <laughs> when you are at home with kids, all you talk to is with your kids. We even forget how to behave in front of a grown-up. That way, I love going to office a couple of times. We talked about how stressful our jobs can be. But at the same time, we need to be thankful and grateful that we have a job to support our families. Let's be thankful to our colleagues who point out you have a spinach stuck in your teeth during a video call. Even if you haven't discovered your superpowers yet, you just know there is something special and unique about you that you bring to your work no matter what you do. And you know it. Be thankful for being you.